Hey YouTube, it's Blake the Strafe here, and I'm gonna be demonstrating what needs to be in Halo Infinite for Halo to have an actual classic combat feel. There's nothing better to use an example than to look at the previous Halo titles and see how the melee system has changed over the years, how it's become easier for players, and what I think it should be at for absolute fairness, balance, <laughs> and functionality. So we're gonna start off with Halo 2 with what I think it should be at. Now, if you notice when I come up to Nick here, Nick, go ahead and crouch. I'm still going to get a lunge towards Nick, but if I'm not looking directly at him, watch what happens. He doesn't take any damage. His shields are still full. Nothing's going on here. However, if I was to look down at him in melee while he's crouched, it'll do damage. So it requires your tracking to be actually on or towards the player in this title when they do an up or down movement. Another example, especially for up, is if Nick stands up and jumps... My melee gets no lunge and doesn't do any damage. However, if I look up while Nick is jumping, I will actually hit my target. This actually makes you have to aim at the player in order to do melee damage. Yes, there is still an assist in terms of lunge, but if your character is not looking at them, then they will not take any damage. So what we're going to do now is switch over to Halo 3, and I'm going to show you how it's devolved into something a little bit more simpler that kind of throws off the overall mechanics of combat. All right, we're now on Halo 3's Guardian, where we're going to demonstrate the difference of aim assist pull in later Halo titles. Now, if you notice when Nick crouches and I keep my aimer straight, even if I'm not looking at him, it's going to recorrect my aim without any right joystick input and give me a hit. Same applies for when he jumps. Notice how my aimer went up by about 30 degrees right there without any right stick input. The game is actually calculating the trajectory angle of your melee for you. And this is a problem in close range combat because when it comes to technical skill, you should have to actually look at your opponent in order to do damage. If Halo Infinite wants to be taken seriously as a close combat range system in terms of classic Halo compatibility, you're gonna want to take away this extra assist in the melee category in order to preserve what would be a more technical and more fair, in my opinion, balanced fight between players. It would be much more similar to having a classic Halo feel from Halo 1 and Halo 2. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoy the video. If you did, please hit subscribe. Also, if you can, hit that notification bell so you can see every video that I upload. I'm going to be doing a lot more Halo tip videos like this as well. So please stay tuned. And again, thanks for tuning in.